Hey everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to Game Builder Garage. Today on the tutorial, we're going to be showing you in the top right of the screen there, we're going to be showing you how to texture items. You can do it to players, you can do it to these aliens and turnips and boxes, you can do it to absolutely any sort of object. So hit the subscribe button, let's dive into it. Alright, here we go. So you can see at the top here we've got this mess of a Nodon system and the texturing is really, really simple. It's only a small part of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a person on the screen. And the person's right there. Now, what we're going to do is if we go into objects, special objects here and we can go to texture now if you're doing a person make sure that you keep the texture the same size as a person see there or else you get weird things going on with overlapping the pixel art now bottom left of the texture node on links to the person and now whatever we put if we go into settings of the texture and we make a smiley face it's a bit like the uh should have done it oh, can we do it custom color there we go all right let's get let's get completely rid of this you know ah you know exactly what we're going for here right there we go there's our texture now you can see it's linked to the person now when we press start and we move the camera around you can see that we've changed our person into the texture that we had and it's on every single side so we've retextured the person into this horrible mess of a pixel art now if we go into settings and we've got the face texture on every single side there but if we just put the center of one te of one axis you can see it's like a flat plane there you can also see that it's not the same size as a person like we're walking right inside there now that is what i've done for the top right of the screen where i've made my uh heads up display life counter you can see it's exactly the same if we go into the settings and we're just gonna just gonna get rid of these and we go back up here right to the top we're gonna go through this uh lives and reset in a different video so don't worry about too much of this but we have got our texture nodons and we've got four of them there for four different textures and they're all linked you can see everyone is linked to a different or the, the the all four are linked to the same object to the same box so that box can take any of these four uh textures depending on if we're doing other stuff don't worry about that too much that's going to be in another video so if you want to make say you want to make a sprite with a custom running animation with two different animations then you do two textures and link the two textures to the same box and then turn one on and one off that's with this input right here so if you have a zero if you go into the settings and you read this is the most important feature in game builder garage if you read the settings on the texture node on it is visible when a value other than zero is received or if the port isn't connected so if you've got the port connected then you can you can make it be visible or not you can literally link these to a button press so if you jump with a you could have one saying directly linked to a and then one with a not node on so you go into your middle there, your logic, and you can put a knot 
node on between it as well. So when A is pressed, it'll be one sprite. When A is not pressed, it'll be another. And that way you can get a jumping animation. You can do the same thing with a um, controller input. So you could have it that when the, the left analog stick is pressed, then it's a running animation and then you've, you need to you need to do other calculations and again the more we learn about game builder garage the more that we can go advance with the programming so we'll cover all that sort of stuff in another video as well hopefully you've got the basics today for the texture node on and how to get your textures onto items and objects hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below on a lesson that you'd like to see and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.